Today we are going to learn about centralized logging and monitoring using AWS CloudWatch. If you have still not subscribed to the YouTube channel, then please do the same. I have already created multiple videos on real world AWS projects and will be creating more such videos. Any application that you create is going to generate log files. A log file captures important activity happening within the application. And in this situation, your application is running across multiple servers. And each instance of the application is generating its own log file on a machine. When a customer places an order on your website, then the load balancer can forward that request to any of this EC2 machine. Now the customer is reporting that he has not received the order. So you will need to analyze where exactly the problem is. And you will come to the log files for performing such analysis. But there are few problems associated with log analysis. The first problem is you will not even know on which machine or server you should look for the logs. If there are hundreds of EC2 instance, then you cannot SSH into each instance and analyze the log. Also, if a EC2 instance is managed by an auto scaling group, then, a high, then there is a high possibility that the EC2 instance has been terminated and a new instance has been created. And in this situation, the log files have been deleted. So how do you solve these problems? A very common pattern used across the industry is called as centralized logging and monitoring. And that's where CloudWatch helps us with this problem statement. As part of centralized logging, what you want is these log files to be copied from the individual EC2 instance to a centralized location. And that centralized location or service is CloudWatch. To achieve this, CloudWatch agent has to be installed on your EC2 instance. This CloudWatch agent will ensure that the log files are copied from the EC2 instance to CloudWatch. And this is not a one-time activity. As and when the logs are updated, then the CloudWatch agent will ensure that the new log content is actually copied into the CloudWatch. Now, all your logs are present in CloudWatch and you can easily analyze these logs using the CloudWatch service. CloudWatch provides you an easy to use interface where you can search the logs. You can search for wildcards or specific patterns and figure out the root cause of your problem. If you are working as a developer, then CloudWatch log analysis is a very important part of your profile. Now, we are going to do a hands-on activity where we are going to install the CloudWatch agent on a EC2 instance. Here I have opened two windows. On the first window is my AWS account and in the second window is the GitHub page where all the steps for installing the CloudWatch agent is present. We will first create an IAM role and attach it to a EC2. So on my AWS account under roles, we will create a new role, select AWS service and select EC2 as the service here. And we will select a permission called as CloudWatch agent server policy. This permissions allow EC2 to copy the logs and send it to the CloudWatch log groups. We will select this policy 
and let's click on the next button we will give it a name ec2 cloudwatch agent and we will create this role the role got created now i will go to the ec2 service and let's launch a new instance with this role give it a name test server keep all the default options select the inst free tier instance type you will need a key pair allow ssh and if you scroll down in the advanced details section there is this drop down call as iam instance profile here you need to select the appropriate profile so i am selecting ec2 cloudwatch agent uh, role that i have created just now use this one and we are good to launch our instance once the instance is created we will ssh into the instance my ec2 instance is up and running and i have ssh into the instance now we will do a few things over here we will first install java and i have a custom spring boot application that i will download i will run this application in background and the log files will be copied to this log file then we will install the cloudwatch agent and do the configuration of the same once that is done then we will monitor the logs using cloudwatch so let's install java first to run this command installation is complete i will clear the screen and let's just download the spring boot application then we are going to use this command to start the application now one thing one thing to note over here is the application is not going to work correctly because i have not passed in the input parameters but that is okay for this exercise we just want to create some log and we want to ensure that those logs are visible in cloudwatch i will copy this paste here now if i just do a tail on this log file then i can see that the application is generating logs now this is a exception getting generated by the application because the input configuration is not present now i will press control c to exit from here then let's install the cloudwatch agent on this ec2 instance i will type clear to clear the output from here then let's install the cloudwatch agent once this is done then we will copy this command to configure the cloudwatch agent so that it knows where the log file is so let's copy this clear this and let's copy this command it will ask this agent will ask us a series of questions like on which operating system are you planning to use the agent the default choice says one which means that linux i will say linux one try to fetch the default region based on yes i will say to space enter which user are you planning to run the agent i will say root which is the default choice i will press enter do you want to turn on stats d daemon the default is one i will select two i don't want that do you want do you want to monitor metric no i will press two do you want to many do you want to monitor any host metric i will say no this to do you have a existing cloudwatch agent configuration no i will press to do you want to monitor any log file yes so i will press one it will ask me the location of the log file path i will say temp my app dot log i am specifying this configuration here because my application has generated the output at the same location i will press enter here press enter again log stream name is the instance id let's press enter again log retention i will say only for one day and press enter again do you want to specify any additional log files to monitor i will say two which means no 
and then do you want to store the configuration in SSM parameter store? I will say to no. And this is done. So our configuration got created and the configuration is stored in this file. This is the CloudWatch agent configuration. Now what we will do is we will start the CloudWatch agent so that it starts collecting the log and sending it to EC2, sorry, to CloudWatch service. I will clear the content from here. Press this command, which says that sudo cloud agent CTL, and this will start our CloudWatch agent. And it says, yeah, so this way our CloudWatch agent has been succeeded. And the next step is just to check the status. I will copy this command, paste it over here, and let's see what is the status. So the status of the CloudWatch is it is running and configured. So we are done from the CloudWatch agent configuration perspective. Now let's go into the CloudWatch service and see whether our logs are visible. I will type CloudWatch here. Let's open this service. On the CloudWatch service, go to the log group section and you will see all of the log group which are present. Search for your log group which is myapp.log. If you click on this log group, then you will see log streams. A log group is nothing but a group of logs and in our case, for each EC2 instance, a log stream has been created. So I for today we created this particular instance ID. And if I click on this instance, you will see all of the logs which are generated or copied by CloudWatch agent into CloudWatch service. Now you can filter the logs by any kind of a filtering criteria. Let's say I want to look for any kind of exception. So if you just search over here, then you will see that in my log, there is a JDBC exception. If you expand this, then you will get more details. And like that, you can analyze your logs and see where the problem is. Few tips over here is in real world, you will have to filter these log files depending on a date, depending on your defect signature. So you can click on this link and understand more about the filtering pattern. But again, this log group and cloud CloudWatch centralized logging and monitoring functionality is very useful when your application is running for months and you want to analyze and figure out the root cause of the problem. One of the prominent stack used in the open source world for centralized logging and monitoring is the ELK stack, where Elasticsearch is used for storing the event logs. Logstash is used for collecting the data from the machine. The Logstash will be similar to a CloudWatch agent. And then Kibana is used as the user interface for visualizing the logs, creating the dashboard and generating the required matrix. So the ELK stack is a very prominent stack as an open source set of tools used in the industry for centralized logging and monitoring. Thanks for watching the video and have a good day.